Hey guys, how you doing? Les here, two hands brewing back again for another another G2G grain to glass. Um, this one um, I mentioned a while back. Um, I got together with uh, this really cool dude, Luke, um, from uh, he's a part owner of Sacramasi's Beer Cafe. So cool name. Um, yeah, they're located in the Brisbane area. If you're ever out here, guys, check them out. Um, awesome range of beers. Do some awesome food. Me and Luke um, talking about getting yeah. together for a brew day for a, like a year or something. We when uh, yeah we finally uh, arranged it. He uh, yeah sort of developed this recipe around a clone of Cerveza Negra. You know Mexican cerveza kind of style beer, but it's a uh, you know black lager or a Schwarz beer that kind of that kind of thing. So um, he's altered the recipe a little bit. Um, went for a whole ton, a truckload of um, pale chocolate and, malt in this. Um, also um, opted for uh, Vienna in place of some of the Pilsner malt. Uh, yeah, who doesn't like Vienna, right? But um, Anyway, so that's about it, really. Uh, kept the hops the same, uh, Tatnang and um, Middlefur, I think it was, Hallertau. Anyway, guys, we'll just get straight into it and I'll show you the footage um, of the brew day. Uh, not a lot of footage. I got a lot of footage, I just cut it down um, just so you see all the basics here guys and a uh, little thing I'll let you know before you get into it is um, we had a stuck sparge, uh, it was massive um, we had to take you know, extreme measures to get that flowing again uh, we did that um, after a yeah, considerable uh, amount of time and um, and uh, yeah, got it going and, and it all worked out from there so um, check it out, enjoy and I'll be back in a second with this beer poured in a glass see you in a sec So guys, we're back. So this is, this is her. This is liquid chocolate. It was uh, aptly named. Looks pretty good in the glass. Um, considerable head poured. Um, this is off the keg as well. So um, we fermented this beer with uh, Mexican, why yeast Mexican lager yeast? I can't remember the, the numbers. Um, so we fermented it with the same uh, yeast, but we've met at different temperatures. I did 15 uh, degrees for the first five days, and then I upped the temperature slowly, uh, raising it up all the way through and past diacetyl rest, up to 25, I think I ended up um, getting it up to, before slowly dropping uh, once I took a gravity reading. Um, 
at 1017 uh, 17 that is not 70 obviously uh, and this was a 1063 ish beer expecting it to come down quite a little bit more but because of the uh, amount of chocolate malt in there especially malt was a big part of the grist uh, and this beer uh, so Luke did his lower um, uh, he did uh, 10 degrees I think it was 10 degrees for whole of the uh, primary stage before, and then cold crashing uh, and kegging and yeah so this is it well it smells absolutely delicious like yeah like like uh, I say chocolate but like cocoa like cooking chocolate or something yeah it's reasonably clean um, doesn't have a lot of tannin sort of grain husk thing going on which I was worried about because through the process you know I was getting all those off flavors characteristics and stuff um, even in the tasting to me it just smells like a real nice deep dense chocolate cocoa cacao even cooked chocolate kind of thing um, maybe a little bit of coffee underneath there as well but um, maybe a touch of sulfur in, in the aroma there but not a lot especially when I swirl it but it smells pretty good like it's very inviting very um doesn't smell super sweet it has a nice yeah just a nice uh, enticing aroma you would say so cheers guys Sorry, Ooh. I can't say too much about appearance, right? Besides the head, I don't know if you saw that, but the head is very tanned, dark, darker head on there, like a chocolatey. Mm. That's delicious. Yep, all those flavors have all mellowed and are working together perfectly. I will say though. It doesn't come across as a Schwarz beer or, or a black lager. It's more like a porter, like maybe a Baltic porter. Yeah, definitely more like a Baltic porter. It's got the body residual, body and sweetness, not not dry. Uh, Ten seventeen, you'd probably imagine that as well. But yeah, it's it's a very very tasty beer. It's just not really to style. Um, but we'll keep this base, swap out probably some of that chocolate um, for Vienna or, or Pilsner malt and change the recipe, alter that recipe a little bit um, and try it again and then even use the same recipe base with the flake maize because there was also a decent amount of flake maize I think towards the two kilos as well as the pale chocolate, two kilos in a double batch. Um, but yeah, we, me and Luke both like the beer. Mm. It's just a really tasty beer. Pretty tasty. Lager. Baltic porter, I guess. Mm. I'd like to enter this into a competition as a Baltic porter and see how it went. With age, I think this beer will um, develop uh, even to be even nicer. It'll just clean itself up even more which at the moment it's pretty clean now and it's getting on an age so um, you know, there's obviously no hops or anything detectable there um, it's got a really smooth bitterness though very happy with this guys anyway I won't ramble on too much more that's the beer liquid chocolate um, and uh, yeah I think she's a winner um, maybe not to star but the beer itself wins the day in the end so cheers guys to that Cheers to you all. I'll see you again on the next one, whatever it'll be, and whenever it'll be. So yours has like a more of a, I think more of a caramel even like note to it, like Definitely. a. And mine, it definitely doesn't have that caramel. It feels like it has a, a slightly lighter body than this one, for whatever reason. You want some sweeter? Yeah.
this doesn't. This is drier, this is sweeter. Yeah. Both of them finished at 10.17. Yeah. That's funny, you finished at 10.17 yeah. as well, right? Yeah. Okay. They both finished at the exact same final gravity. Yeah. Fermented completely different temperature ranges, and yet the flavour is so different. Mm -hmm. I like them both though, actually. Yeah. They get more on drink. Yours definitely has a nicer, uh, smoother um, sweetness. And this is a little bit more like it's maybe like maybe a bit more like a um, lager, you know. Or you know, I feel like you could back back everything off a bit and get that nice like Mexican lager thing, like yeah, black lager that we were going for. But I also feel like you could dial it up and put get some more vanillas in it and make a make a riz out of this base. Man, you like, could easy. It'd be stuff oh, you, there. It'd be a Mexican like, riz. Yeah, Mexican riz. <laughs> Mexican well, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's I think I like it was better. So I'm positive. They just keep getting better too yeah. as they yeah. get older, aren't they? Like straight away. Yep. They had all that sulfur, and you're like, ah. Yep. Maybe it's not going to be so good, but yeah, <laughs> I've been getting stuck into this one in the last few nights. <laughs>